All right, let's do absolutely 20. Get that work done. Let's do some tracing of this guy so that we can kind of separate it from the hood. That's going to be our big piece. I don't have any hot takes today, I don't think. Not like on Tuesday, although I really did enjoy the conversation on Tuesday. Ah, no, no worries, hunters. Family in Eastern Washington. Well, that's nice. Uh, I have some sort of distant cousin in Spokane, Spokane, Spokane. Washington State, that's in Spokane, right? Anyway, so somewhere out there. Tinkerer, welcome in. Okay. I've never, well, the only place I've been in, in Washington State is Seattle, and that's when I was in college, when the basketball team made the uh, tournament. My spring break, at the end of my spring break, I got to go with the basketball band to Seattle. And we actually had, like, the most beautiful weather for the three days, four days that we were out there. Got to catch... We, we, we planned our visit to the Space Needle at sunset one night, and it was gorgeous. And this, is, this again, goes back to if you were on Babestream or have seen the pictures that I shared. This is back when cameras were film cameras. We didn't have digital cameras. I think I took like three or four rolls of pic. I took at least one full roll of pictures at the top of the Space Needle watching sunset. Spent about $100 for all of the um, the pictures that I got developed from that trip. And it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We, um, we, uh, my buddy and I, again, you gotta remember, we're like 20 year old college kids. Went and tried like a, a nice rest, nicer restaurant in town. Had like you know fresh seafood and all this and the other, and just totally out of our wheelhouse, which was cool. I mean, we had we had a blast. My buddy and I just had an absolute blast. So that was a fun trip. It was a very fun trip. Obviously, did Pike's Place Market that type of thing. This would have been 98, I think is when that was, 98. Yeah, like spring of 98, I guess. Had to have been, right? Or was it? Spring of 99. Dang, I don't remember now. I can't remember when that was. Oh, I think the wife's taking the dogs for a walk. You can hear him very carefully. If you listen very carefully, you can hear him. Probably don't even have to listen very carefully. Wow, hunters, that's crazy. I mean, it's good that they're keeping track of it. Definitely don't want it to get out of control.
It, yeah, fire does. Fire, fire and water are bad news. Like in in their own separate natural disastrous ways, right? Was it Zell? Zelku had that flood in his shop when all they when they got all that rain last year. That was not fun. Yeah, and POW now too, yeah. Yeah, POW now too. You all right? Yeah, I printed something I need. Oh, okay. There you go. Is she eating that or no? No, she's eating it. Ah, gotcha. You get what you need or no? Right there. Thank you. Yep. Come on, dummy. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I need to as well, Jack. My whole workshop out there, I need to. That's good, Huntress. I mean, it really... The fact that they're managing it, so... You don't think Jack's... He, Jack's... Jack's suspicious? No, Jack's not suspicious. No suspicions. Innocent. I don't know about the sweet angel... I may give you innocent. I'm all about sweet. All right, I think I probably ought to use. Oh, Huntress, you didn't see. I made mine, and I've got to trim it. There we go. There's there's the one that I made. So almost, as, oh, it's going to be about the same size once I once I trim it and and shape it, shape the handle. I didn't well, so I used my little propane torch, but I didn't actually use a whole lot of heat to get it flat. I really. As Jack was saying, Jack was sharing with me, I really didn't need to use too much to get it flat. Now, it helped as I was trying to shape that tip area. Jack drew me a handy dandy little diagram, like he said there, which kind of showed me what I needed to do, which was awesome. So that was that was pretty fun. So, and I've got to trim it down, uh, trim the handle off. I need to trim the head of it off and then we'll trim the handle um, to make it fit. We'll kind of shape the handle and I might actually try and sharpen it a little bit. Jack said some files. I'm, I've got some files that I can use to kind of uh, sharpen it up maybe a little bit. Well, my hope is to not do that, Jack, but uh, I will keep that in mind. That's my goal is to not do that.
but I know you're sharing from experience and I appreciate that. Now I have, I've, I've blistered my finger and, you know, just poked a little hole in it to release the pressure. But I don't anticipate doing that with my, uh, <laughs> with my fingernails. All right, let's see if, well, I mean, you're going to experience these things. We all, we all make boo-boos. We all have boo-boos. Trying to, I guess actually, probably ought to leave that taper there. We're going to leave that be. Let's, uh, let's not monkey that up too much. Let's just clean that up some. Jack, you are being helpful. You don't, you know. said my hope and my goal is to not have to worry about that which is why I was using my channel locks to hold the nail <laughs> yes Huntress absolutely thank you so much for stopping in enjoy the time out there with the family have a wonderful wonderful night Huntress tell bad dad we said hello Y'all are hearing my emails come in. I don't know what's emails coming in, but getting emails. Probably nothing important. It's usually the case. It's me. Oh, are you hearing? <laughs> yep. Jack's like, wait a second. I'm not getting emails yet. I'm getting the e I'm hearing the email bing. Yeah, I didn't close my email yet. I usually, well, I should say, I guess I probably usually close my email just because it normally bings with junk mail that comes through or whatever. So. So there we go. Now Tinker, how would your how did your prep your pen preps go last night? I uh because my work situation last evening, I wasn't able to actually really watch much and Actually, by the time I got done, I was kind of done. I was kind of done with much, a good amount of stuff, so. Very nice, very nice. See if we can use this to clean off this side too. I 
I set the tendency to want to go blow on these, but I know if I do, I'm going to toss shavings everywhere that I've cleaned up that are all in a neat little pile in front of me. Don't want to do that. There you go. There you go. I still need to figure out what to do for a uh, for a wand. There's another email. Hey, Jack, would you like me to close my email so you're not freaking out? see if it's anything good. Junk. Cindy draws the thing. Junk. Junk. Alright. Boom. Email's closed, Jack. Close the email. Alright. Let's see. Do some clear out up here. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can kind of shape this mask a little. Because for goodness sakes, the mask isn't flat, right? So we've got to shape it some. shape it some. This is the challenging part. This is where it takes a little bit of time and patience. Kind of clean out these parts. See right here, this is going to be the tricky one. As we get into this, right there, as we make that turn, our grain changes direction just because of the shape, right? So, work at it from both angles. Try and clean it up as best we can. Good night, May. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Get some good rest. Hope you have a wonderful Friday. And look forward to seeing you on Saturday. If we don't see you sometime tomorrow in somebody else's stream. next fun part is going to be hollowing out the holes and kind of shaping. So that's the other. All right. So that's our next tricky part here. Is shaping these pieces a little bit. So there is a slight kind of shape right here. I'll kind of work with that. If 
Ah. Let's see if we can round that off a little bit. Both directions. No, 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 no. He's not dead. He just took a little trip. Just took a little trip. I do read books, Jack. I read nerd books, as my wife and daughter like to say. Nerd books is what they call them. Who's my current favorite character? So if we're talking nonfiction stuff, Joe Ledger. Do we know that one? Joe Ledger. It's a character from an author named Jonathan Mayberry. And he's kind of like a Secret Service type of guy. It's an author from like the Philly area. He is an author from the Philly area. He's got a whole series. Um, the Joe Ledger series, actually. Um, very interesting. I haven't read the most recent ones. I haven't read any new ones from him in a couple of years now. But there's about, if I'm not mistaken, there's about eight total now. If not more. Mayberry is M A M A B E R R Y. No Y in there. No Y in the first part. And I don't know why. There's no Y in the first part. In terms of fiction, that's kind of that's kind of what that's the that's the type of fiction that I like to read if I read if and when I read fiction. And like I said, I don't read a whole lot of fiction. So Now, I'm, you know, Jack, I'm much more of, I like history, so I like reading, you know, history or biographies, that type of stuff. That's probably, that type of, that type of reading is usually more at my alley. Um, Eric Larson is one of my more favorite, like, history, history type of authors. And he writes in a very interesting manner in that kind of breaks it down from a couple perspectives at the same time, which is quite interesting.
All right, let's see. What do y'all think of this face? It's pretty close, yeah? Now we just need to shape. Camera freaking out. Recognizable. That's all I'm going for. <laughs> Don't need to be perfect in my eyes. <laughs> Mine usually are not. But that at least gets us an idea of what it is, right? So let's see if I can shape the rest of this guy. Let's do a quick strop break, though, because it has been over an hour since we started. But we know we did have a short strop break right not too far in, but... No, no, Jack, I know it was not. I know it was not. <laughs> I am very self-deprecating. So. I am very self-deprecating. <laughs> That's right. That's kind of what I'm going for, Jack. Let's put a little bit more compound on here. I put it in backwards, didn't I? Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? Anything exciting happening? I got nothing. Nothing brewing here. Nothing happening on this world. Just a plain old weekend, really. We'll be in horror. Maybe, maybe. Let's see, what time is it? A little after eight. Big leather work, much scare. You're scared of the leather work that you have to do this weekend? Is that what I'm understanding there, Jack? Or you're scared of the leather working that I'm doing right now? Now I need to, uh, actually I need to get a bunch of projects done for the next market. I actually have my list of stuff. Most important, I need to try and get a couple cutting boards done because I have no cutting boards at the moment. Um, I want to finish up the vases just so I have those done. I want to try and turn a couple bowls. So. <clears throat> I have to do that at some point. I want to try, still want to try and get some tops made. I think those would be fun little guys to have. I need to get some spoons made. Golly, I got to make some spoons. I actually sat on one of our training sessions yesterday and did the bowls of a couple of tiny spoons. Just got to shape those handles. But today's the 18th. I've got two weeks left to do some of these things, so... I don't know. I'm going to try... I think kind of get lost in the shuffle. I mean, heck, even tonight we're you know we're cruising a little tonight. We're cruising at a small clip, um, but I kind of like I like the streams inside here a little bit more. So I hope y'all do too. So I think we're gonna kind of try and stay in this ballpark. All right, so thought process here. We're going to bring this in a little bit more. Kind of. What's the matter? No, what? Kind of 
kind of shape that in. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I can do for hands. I need to shape the back. Her arms are gonna have to end up being because the head is so far forward. This is gonna be a little odd. The feet. <laughs> This guy might end up looking like E.T. in a little bit. <laughs> so I think I'm going to try and leave the back flowy. I'm going to, if I can, try and shape this back so it's a little flowy-ish. All right, so let's... Wrong way there, knucklehead. Shape our back here. See if we can get some flowiness back here. And then we'll shape the feet, but I think we're gonna kind of leave, we're just, we're gonna do, hmm, I don't know, the feet are gonna be tough as I'm looking at this now. This is going to be interesting. I wonder how I can shape that in. How can I shape this in? This is the tricky part. Always the tricky part. I would like to have the cape kind of coming over an arm or something like that, kind of hiding an arm. I don't think that's going to be possible. I think... This is a challenging piece. I'm trying to figure out how I want to shape this off of the character. Maybe I just leave it kind of flowy this way. We'll carve in some here. Let's try that. Let's see. Leave it flowing on the back side. So let's, let's kind of piece off his feet.
See if we can shape his feet some. Because this is where it's a little bit odd. Normally the head comes after we shape the body. And I didn't quite do that on this one. So our head is going to be a little bit far forward. Our feet are not really out in front of our head here. So that's kind of a kind of an odd spot. So let's see how we can see how we can shape this because this is a curious one right now. Because when we look at our guys, well, it's not too far off. All right, we're not too far off. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. I think we can figure this out. not following our usual carving path like we do any others because there's kind of a there's kind of a um, step process that we we do on the others that we didn't quite do on this one so kind of having to wing it a little till we get to a place where it's what we want to see. Don't want to do too much over there because that is where our arm could... I would probably like to have our arm with a knife. I don't know if we'll be able to have an arm with a knife, though, so we'll see. I mean, it kind of needs to just to kind of help sell it, but... So these need to come up this way. Trying to shape these shoes without having to go too deep into the piece. I wonder if we do... Because that's usually our shoe size right there. So I wonder if... We can kind of shape it a little bit that way. Shoes go back a little bit usually too, so let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Because what I'm thinking in terms of shoes is kinda kinda like what we've been doing. We have a little that's kind of our quote unquote footprint, right? something along those lines on the bottom, right? But we also have that cape that we kind of have to work with. So I'm wondering here, I'm wondering if I can go in this way, clean it out, kind of leave that cape draped over. I 
Let's see if we can. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do this. Just trying to figure this piece out. Just trying to figure this piece out. Yeah, I think we can make that work, actually. Let's see if we can clean this up just a smidge. Just a little bit. Use a nice sharp tip in here. I think we can do something here. I think as I look at this, we'll be able to do some shaping there with that cape, I think. So. Maybe, I don't know if we'll get that done tonight, but. All right kind of liking where that's going. Let's see if we can do that on the other side real quick. Although we do still need to shape the front of the shoe. We'll make that happen. leaving this little overhang here. So I wonder if I can continue on that. Let's see if we can continue that path. We've got a little overhang on the foot. Right here. So I want to try and continue that. Kind of leave that hanging over the top. Keep it close there. shape all of it. We'll get a nice round edge on the front. Let's see if we can bring it right underneath that lip.
You gotta be careful twisting the knife. We don't want to break the tip at all. We don't want to break the knife blade. Still have to shape this front. Still have to, I've got to figure out in my head what I want that drape to look like. The, uh, cape, the flowiness. That's going to be a tricky part. All right, let's see if we can work this other shoe. Probably ought to look at trying to mold these. I think that would be interesting. So, here's where we've got to go around. We've got to get it to this point here. There we go. And we'll round from there. We're going to come back around here, though. Kind of that point. So, let's work on that some. See if we can cut in that way and shape. There we go. Let's see. And we want to do something like this. This is why I wear night or glove because half the time. I do cuts that are just absolute sketch. Unfortunately, didn't actually try cutting that first time. Otherwise, I probably lost a thumb. Or lost, you know, some blood. So, there we go. We're trying not to lose blood or thumbs. That's the goal. So, so far, got that. I want to kind of do the cape. I want to separate these feet out. Seeing that we're, wow, we're closing in on nine. I did go start a little later today.
I still need, actually, I've got my envelope from Gun Girl that I need to open. I'm not sure what I'm thinking there. I'm going to get that open. Yeah, I actually went basically right on my line there. Alrighty then. Yeah, a little overboard, but it's alright. We'll fix it. Oof, no, way overboard. Holy mackerel, what did I do? Well, maybe we'll make the other feet smaller. Well, let's shape these up. Try to at least get the front the same. Then we'll go back and shape the sides. That was not smart. Not smart. I was cutting those completely different. gonna have to put it down for a moment regroup plan our next part our next plan of attack I think actually I want to try and shape these feet over here since we completely have them um, different sized way out of whack that way. Gotta come in even more.
take off a little at the front here because that's just the wrong size. All right, let's Let's take a little pause. Let's take a little pause. Let's get our let's get our bearings right. Let's uh, evaluate where we are. Try and figure out. <clears throat> try and figure out our our cape. I guess that's what we call it. I'm assuming he calls. I don't know what he called. What the, the character calls it. I'm assuming it's a cape. Hmm, Tinker doesn't like you. Maybe that or it's sleeping. No, it's there. It's there, it should work. Is it not working? Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see here. Oh, I gotta take a little bit of a little bit of a breather here. Oops. Let's see. Uh, let me take a look at something here. Oh, excuse me. Dream elements, are you awake? It looks like their user, oh, oh no. Yeah, stream elements isn't one to operate right now. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it seems like it may be because I'm not seeing any of their default commands. Hey, Boyd. I'm not seeing any of their default commands. Yeah. My custom commands are in there. Well. Like, well, let's see. Oops. Uh, let's actually put that in chat. How are you tonight, Boyd? How the, uh, how the cutting board turn out? Yeah, I think stream elements is, uh, is all out of whack. I think stream elements is all out of whack. So, oh man, look at that hairdo! Holy mackerel! Wow, I've got, I've got. I uh, appreciate y'all letting me know my hair is just uh, <laughs> way out. Holy moly! What did I do? Goodness. Anyway, all right. So here's where we are so far. on our scream guy kind of wonkied up the feet a little bit i gotta i'm gonna try and clean those up a little bit i gotta try and figure out the cape gotta try and figure out the cape i don't know how i want to do that here's our jason that we did the other night and my knife now my new knife that jack uh, bullied me into making so i forged my first piece of metal we're going to trim off the, the nail head 
and try and trim this down a little, shape this down a little. Yeah, Jack was bullying me. That's why I was forging. And, it, and, and I, don't even, I don't even call that forging. I was hitting a hammer with a nail or hitting a nail with a hammer. I don't consider that forging. <laughs> it was hitting a hammer with a nail or hitting... Hitting a nail with a hammer. Golly, I still can't. my brain is my brain is borked. So yeah, so that's I've got to figure out how I want to do the cape, and if I can try and do a little knife as well. Oh, oh goodness, excuse me. So, but yeah, Boyd, how'd the uh, how'd the cutting board turn out? I'm assuming it's gluing up now, or re-gluing now. I did not get a chance to really participate today. We had uh, our last interview of the day was at four o'clock this evening when you got started. And then dinner and all that other stuff. So I did not get a chance to really participate today. But I do hope it was a good day. So. Um, kind of, but I mean, we're kind of getting into more of a regular schedule again with school and rehearsals and all this out of the other, but we've got, um, we've got some interviews happening for work right now. So I don't think I use this one, but, but I've got a little envelope from Gigi that I need to open. So we're just kind of taking a little, little, little midstream pause that uh, kind of uh, give ourselves a little bit of a reset period. See if we can figure out what we want to do with the cape, maybe sketch a couple ideas or two on there, so. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. We're kind of on our Halloween characters for carvings. I've got stuff that I do out in the workshop. Actually, it was nice. Today, at lunchtime, I finished up the baseboard molding on the stairs had a funky little stair area frustrated because it took me more more cuts than i would care to admit on a couple pieces um but it's done wife is happy life is good so this was from one of gg's nights the other day where we had little sticker giveaways so i told her to pick so, all right. So I let her kind of choose. Oh, I see one in here. I like the little thank you note. Oh, we've got the shimmer on there. Can we see the little shimmer? So there's a GG. Oh, who's that? Look at that. I got the Boyd sticker. That's going on. That's awesome. Oh, yes. We've got the dancing bottoms. I can put that with this one. I got to put that one on my... Uh, I got to re-stickerize my stuff. And, oh, the Murph. So sweet. She sent me a pic. Maybe that's what we start on Saturday. Maybe we'll start trying and do the, the Murph carving on Saturday. I'll hang on to the card. So Yeah, so shiny. The hollow POW, did you make some good progress tonight? I hope so. We got some fun ones there. Those are going to go on there. Actually, I've still got 20s that I need to put on there. My wife stole my send nudes one, so I got a new one there. So I got to put, I got a bunch. I got to update my, uh, got to update my, um, my, my box. My travel box with all the stickers. Because I got a couple Owens that I got to put on there. So, bah. all right. So, I want to kind of leave the cape coming down that way. So, I wonder if so we can do something like this. I'm trying to think. So this is going to be the arm side. So, maybe this way we'll do, we'll do kind of. Makes it look like a bird. 
but I think something like that. Nice POW. Yeah, y'all have to keep an eye out. Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule is awesome, first off. Uh, I like uh, they, they, and the reason I like Sticker Mule as much as I do is last week they did their $9 shirt thing. So you can get your own t shirt for nine bucks. Upload an image, nine bucks, you get a shirt. Kind of cool. Now, I like that over here. Although, although the 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 um, the cape is not like flowy in that sense, it's kind of like jagged. So maybe in the back too. Um, in the back, I've got to do so. Like if you look at it, it's kind of like the jagged type of of cape, right? I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oops. I really don't know how I'm going to do that because that should actually carry carry up this way. Cuz it's like one of those jaggedy type of capes. And I guess I could kind of do it, but it's going to look really janky. So maybe I just do that kind of come up that way. He just won't have a knife. That's the hard part. I would like to keep a knife. I would like to incorporate a knife in there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I'm not sure how we're going to work that. All right, so. Let's see here. Let's. Let's see what we can figure out, because that is going to be the tricky part right here. Let's see if we can get figure out how we can get this done. So let's sort of separate the back of our feet. Cross, how are you doing tonight, by the way? Thank you for popping in. Shanigans. How are you tonight, Shanigans? Shanigans, I did forging. I forged a knife, or I forged a machete. Jack bullied me into doing it. We'll clean it up. We'll shrink it up, and we'll put it on. Jack's just a giant bully. <laughs> Jack was actually sharing a very interesting interview uh, situation he had, I guess, a little while back. Interviews have been going so uh, going well so far. I have not asked your question, mainly because it's not necessarily my place. If I was the lead interview, you know, if I was the, the, the person the person was reporting to, yes, I would use that one. But at this point, I'm not that person. So I am. Uh, playing it somewhat safe. Although there's still challenging questions, but. And I do like that question. All right. What am I doing? This is what I'm trying to figure out right now. What am I doing here? How am I going to make this work? We had four different people today. We've got three tomorrow. I 
it's tiring. I will tell you that much. I don't know how much longer I am for stream tonight either, because I've been sitting in this office a whole lot this day. So we'll see if we can shape this. See what we can do to shape this cape. Before we call it an evening. I gotta get myself more time back out in the shop. Fortunately, I finished a couple of the inside projects that have been kind of just lingering. One of those being the stairs, so we can check that one off my list. So, all good there, which is nice. It's nice to check off some of those projects. Kind of got myself into a rabbit hole lately on YouTube of Jonathan Yanch. Does a lot of truck camping out in Oregon or out in the West, I should say. Kind of do that. I kind of get myself into little YouTube rabbit holes. Didn't go in my water. I'm good. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to give this type of cut a try. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but... We're going to try. It's going to kind of cut up and away the spot as opposed to down and in although I am going down and in right at the moment but see if we can kind of get a raggedy edge like a clean raggedy edge but yeah Hard part is when we get such thin material. Let's see if we can do it this way. Or we need thinner material sometimes than what we actually have. So let's see if we can make our way through. I realize now one of the questions I should have asked biking. with my stairs is how he would have done the stairs, the molding on the stairs. Because it's a little funky. So, anyway. Just thinking out loud. You know, so far, I'm actually kind of liking what's happening here. actually looking pretty decent kind of liking the shape that this is taking I have to clean it up on the underside I think but I am liking the shape I'm getting I 
I'm doing it out of frame. I'm sorry. As I look up and share this with you, I realize it's not in frame there, knucklehead. But I'm liking this. I am liking how this is shaking out. There we go. Now, how do I go about shaping out the rest of it? Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. So I like the back. I think the back is looking pretty good. Let's, you know what, before we do the sides, let's try. And kind of shape the rest of this hood and body area. Probably be a decent idea, I think. Let's figure this out. Just throwing chips everywhere, I tell you. Just throwing them everywhere. All right, let's go this away. Trying not to make it look like E.T. That's the other hard part. Well, I guess it kind of does. No E.T.'s. I mean, it kind of, kind of looking ET-ish, but we're gonna try and continue with our our capish type of thing. Oh, well, so what is interesting then, sir? Actually, as I look at this, I probably need to just bring it around. All the way like that. Let's see if I can do that. So I need to kinda need to kinda cut under. Oh. That is kinda interesting. Shanigans, that is quite interesting. That's my triangle piece. There you go. There you go. See? All right. 
let's swap out cutters here. Kind of like what they're doing now with the uh, live edge slabs at uh, Lowe's. Have you seen those? Worth effort posted a picture on like Instagram or something, Twitter the other day. It was very amusing. Yeah, exactly. The pine ones. <laughs> Just a little late to the party, I guess, right? Oh, my gosh. That and they also have like the fake barn wood stuff. It's like, oh, my gosh. So here's, here's what I'm trying to figure out at the moment is how I can get a better angle in here to undercut. Maybe I just need to do a better angle like this. I'm trying to give myself a little undercut so I can do our our jaggedy um what should you say cape the hard part is digging into wood. using my knife that has a little bit thicker blade tip and still pretty pretty strong blade to kind of clean this area out.
the other thing I'm gonna have to do is shape. I'm gonna shape that body up here too. Have to shape that. Interesting shenanigans. And that was the backer board that came with it, huh? Oh, you bought oh, you bought it for a house project. Ah. So is it something that you can maybe go find more of? Because it sounds, if, if I'm hearing you right, if I'm understanding right, sounds like you're pretty pleased with how it's cutting. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, hey, but... That, I mean, that's, that right there is a handy thing for displays or, the other, other stuff like that. Yeah, there you go. You never know, right? Don't don't rule anything out yet. I would imagine a real carver watching me do this is probably just just be sitting there shaking their head like what in the world are you doing dude there we go now we got some stuff out ah there you go not plastic Almost sounds like it's like a like a the the LVP the luxury vinyl plank to an extent, or something similar ish material. That's why we wear a glove. Ha ha. It's also why you don't keep your fingers in the line of cut. trying to do is here is sit here and like waller out some of this wood so I can kind of carry on what I was doing on the back I don't know if I've done enough but let's shape oh gosh let's shape this front end some The 
funny part is, so when I take my pictures of these little characters here on my desk, what I try to be very careful of is my dino dick. So try not to get the dino dick clear in the background. Usually I angle it so that the, the character covers up my dino dick. So there you go. Little insight into the uh, way cool wood picture process. So, I think it's almost going to be like a little red riding hood type of thing. We're going to shape it so that it just kind of flows down. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll see if we can cut some of those same type of whatchamaduzit angles that I did on the back. It's also why I wear a glove because smaller pieces you're likely to have to cut towards your hand. Let's see if we can do some more jaggedness on here. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. Let me clean up our desk a little bit before we start doing some of those cuts. I'm hoping, hoping, let's see, we're going to put this guy away. We've dropped him already. Come on, there we go, ish, ish. This way. Mm, close enough. Nice. I was going to ask how those turned out last night, too, Shanigans.
think I took out a little chunk of another piece over here. We'll see. I did not. Ah, well, there we go. Yes. That makes sense if we're trying to be exact with some of these things. Right, let's see if we can... Stinking millimeters and not... All that stuff. Darn metric. So I'm using my thumb. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there you go. That's the handy part about CNC and lasers. You can do that. Have that going while you're doing your other stuff. my head is getting in the shot there. There's that. This might actually turn out pretty decent. Wow. Stuck on my fingers. Trying to clear out a little bit behind these shoes. Kind of help make it look a little cleaner between there and the cape. I don't know if it's going to be possible. But darn it, we're going to try. We gonna try. So let's 
I'm going to carry that up just a little bit here. We're going to do all of our shapes. We're going to try and get all of these little triangle-ish type of things cut out. take it kind of gentle and not going in so I have no clue Boyd I have no clue my gut feeling is the kid might might uh, claim this one scream is one of her favorites somebody had actually suggested molding him but I don't know howdy plume I've been well, I hope you have. I've been well, Plume, I hope you have as well. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, though, Boyd. Yeah, it, it is kind of an interesting idea. I don't know how well with wood they would come out but yeah we see we could give it a, give one of them a try i guess there we go we're getting here now we getting there Well, I'm glad to hear that you're recovering. I have had more and more acquaintances and folks that I know seem to have gotten it lately. But I'm glad that you're recovering. Hard part with these cuts is I'm trying not to muck up the feet too much. So I am actually resting the knife on my thumb as I cut, which, you know, is such a, you know, proper carving technique. Rest the knife on your thumb. You know, put that sharp blade right up against the, uh, the skin that it can cut. Although it is in a glove, but nonetheless... Still not probably the best uh, carving technique I would uh, share with folks. But. Wait. <laughs> oh yeah, boy! I'll tell you, chisels too. You can, you can kind of lose track of where you are with a chisel. Not realize how close you are to your own skin and all that other fun stuff. Yeah, chisels, chisels can, chisels can, they can do some damage. That's for sure. actually kind of like in the way that that's looking oh yeah you can well just like what i'm doing here <laughs> but yeah chisels oof, yeah you can you can mess something up pretty quick with a chisel that is for certain so boy have you come up with an idea for a wand yet 
because I am still wandless. I'm wandering for ideas. There we go. All right, so I think, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna call this one done. Uh, yeah, we're chipping up there. Let's see if, nope, that just went right through it. Yeah, I'm with you, Boyd. There is one, there's already some really awesome entries. Two, I don't have any original ideas. It's just gonna, I mean, it's gonna look like a wand. And there's nothing, nothing that I'm really, uh, infatuated with on my end. So yeah, see that's this hood up top here keeps coming apart. So I wonder what can I do there? Let's do this. Well, let's not cut that way. I mean, I do need to cut that way. Oof, golly. what we can do here twenty right now I don't know if I'm gonna have an entry I mean it may be something really cheesy well see that's it Boyd I mean we think about turning a wand I mean, I could potentially carve the handle of a wand. But. <laughs> Howdy, Cass. I have a feeling it's one of those fun meetings you really enjoy every, uh, every week or every couple of weeks. I'm gonna try and trim. I don't know what we can do here. Of course there is gas. I know I am sure that there's actually a book on carving wands. I'm surprised I actually don't have it already. But all right, let's thin this edge here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, Fox Chapel does all the carving books. I didn't vote for wand. Shanigans, I didn't vote for wand. We've had this discussion. I am much more about themes than items when it comes to voting. I did not vote for wands. I am much more theme oriented because it gives you interpretation, gives you room for interpretation. Yeah, Cass, I think they should. I mean, I think one, it's just easier to bring with you places, so. I 
don't know, Void. I mean, we have... Uh, I think theme leaves a little bit more to interpretation, a little bit more to creativity. I mean, an item as specific as a wand, I think, is something that uh, just becomes very... I mean, becomes very limiting. We've got some great entries, so... You mean how is what? What level do you have to be to have walnuts emote? Hold on, what are you talking about? Limiting might not be it, but I mean, I don't know. I. I'm not a fan of specific items. Well, yes, you can make different types of wands and different styles and stuff like that, but a wand is still just a wand. See, I like themes because you can people can interpret it different ways. While you may not agree with their interpretation, it's still neat to see different interpretations. So, Well, yes, it is limiting, but I don't know. Yes, theme is a restriction, yes. But, I mean, a wand is a wand. There's only, I mean, well, I guess there's there's many ways you can make a wand. But, I don't know. I, I'm just not with it. I'm not feeling it. Well, shenanigans, that's a that's a challenging question because it depends on what you're what you're talking about. So I think in order to get that little area up top cleared out a little better or shaped in a little better. I think we're going to I think I'm going to try and shape this hood in a slightly different manner as well. So I don't want it, because of this indentation up there, I think I'm going to make a little bit of an indentation over here. I'm not speaking poorly of it. I, I'm just not fond of it. And it's not my cup of tea. Not disparaging it, because for goodness sakes, there's some amazing entries. They look absolutely amazing. I have seen that hat, Cass. It's crazy.
So we got a little angle there. I wonder if I can shape it in a little bit more up here. Well, see, that's it, Shanigans. I don't necessarily have a story for my wand. I mean, I could make a magic wand. I could make a wand that makes 60 people play the same thing all at the same time. It's called a conducting baton. Oh, I'm just not, I'm not feeling this one. Not feeling this one. And I could, I mean, I guess I could, I could do that. A music man magic wand? Yeah, I guess, right? Put it in the right hands of the right person. Right, let's see if I can trim this in a little bit as well. Nope, got to go this way. No. Go that way. Try not to hack this hood up. There we go. That direction. And let's try and clean up in here. Ah, fair enough, Shanigans. Fair enough. Heck, I made the ghetto, uh, what you do is it in like my, my minion in like six hours or whatever, or not even six hours, you know, like in a shorter period of time, just because it was, uh, I need to get something done. Yeah. You know? Didn't have the time to do it thanks to a uh, vacation last year, but. Not arguing that part. And I appreciate you, Shanigans. I appreciate you pushing me to think about it, pushing me, giving me prompts, helping me with prompts to get my butt in gear. I do appreciate that. So. I mean, I've got my, my colorful acrylic rods out there that I could do something with because they're not going to work for batons. So... Maybe I think of something with that. Try and incorporate those in some way. I don't know. All right. Let's see here. Beat his face on the f mat. Kind of 
kind of want to put another, maybe we do it down lower. Maybe we do it down here. Make it a little bit more imperfect. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure inspiration will strike at the last minute, like it always does for me. Sometimes, well, maybe not always, but like it has for me in the past. Well, this is true. I don't think anybody has stepped up to fully embrace it. Um, it's a good question. Definitely a good question. I don't know. All right, let's clean up because I think this is where I'm going to end. I think this, I think we're going to call this guy done. I don't know if this guy will get a weapon. Let's clean up our desk here real quick, and I will give you guys a nice close-up of it. You can see the Scream Ghost. Scream. Monster. Character. I don't know. What is... Does he have a name? POW posted something, screamed something earlier. I can't remember what it was, but. So that's Mac Zoom. That's actually pretty good. So. Basswood does not turn very well. 